Hello everyone, my name is Nikoya, and this is Kentucky Route Zero. We are in Act 1, Scene 4, in the Elkhorn Mine. So let's go mining. Shannon, Jesus, are you alright? What the hell? I'm okay, or my leg is stuck? I don't want my leg to be stuck, how about I'm okay? I've got you, you're alright. Shit, your leg is pinned. I get, well, that didn't work too well. I'm gonna pull you out, we have to get you out of here. Okay, well, sounds legit. There you go, okay, are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? It's all messed up, or it's fine. I want it to be fine. It's fine. Just try to stand up. Careful, I'm right here. Damn, don't worry, I got you. That leg is in bad shape. Well, I guess it wasn't fine. So much for optimism. Here, let's get you onto the tram. There you go. Now, let's see if this thing has power. Hope so. Well, okay, there's some luck, right? We should be able to ride this tram right out of one of the auxiliary exits, if there are any. I think there are. I can walk. What about Weaver? What about the on-ramp? Um, yeah, I'd really rather not walk, so I kind of want to stay on focus, on target here. Stay on target, stay on target. Uh, yeah, let's stay on target. What about the on-ramp? We'll just find the exit and then figure out what to do from there. That's your first priority. So the controls are over on your side. Let's get moving. Well, okay. So, this direction looks kind of shitty, and uh, I'll leave the lights on, I guess. Let's go in this direction. Whee! This looks like fun. Let's keep going. Come on. Damn, I love this art style. It is just fantastic. Come on, let's go. Hang on, is there something in the background there? I thought there was like, something flashing green or something like that. But, given that my leg's a little messed up, apparently optimism doesn't help in that. I'm uh, not going to go walk over there and try. Man, this is amazing. Oh, I just... Ooh, turntable! And a scarecrow, that's awesome. So am I supposed to turn on the turntable and go somewhere else? Or am I supposed to just keep on, keep it on? I suppose we can come back to this? Or should we? So I feel like if I turn on the turntable, it will send me to somewhere else. But, I mean, it's interactable, so... Well, let's just continue on here, see what's here. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. I don't think there's a map or anything, so... There's a lot of megaphones right there. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Mmm, delicious electricity. Hmm. I'm not used to this game being this quiet. I mean, mind you, I am only on Act, what was it, Act 4? So... Pretty early on, might just be that this is one of those things. I hope this isn't like a huge long maze section or something where I get lost and become very annoyed and this turns into mist and I grind for like 900 hours just to get anywhere, but it seems, given what's happened so far, that's fairly unlikely, so... Oh, exit. Really? That's it? I kind of want to find out what was back on the turntable. Oh jeez, do I go back? Or do I stay on target? I kind of want to go back, you know? Just for shits and games. I want to see what's there. If there is, like, extra thingies. Sorry if this is, like, completely boring and annoying. Uh, but, my curiosity will gnaw at me. And I don't really like playing games twice, so... You'll excuse me if I'm a little... I don't want to say completionist, but I guess maybe like explorationist, if that's a thing. Might not be. And uh, Miss Marquez over here doesn't seem to be complaining, so yeah. The rest of you can suck it up, I guess. Oh, here we are. This may be a little hard to believe. It's hard for me to believe myself. 
But this whole branch was underwater last I heard. Is it safe? How did... Hmm, okay, well. I wonder what would happen if I had tried the exit. See, now that's killing me. God damn it. Um, how did it happen? Well, it's underground. Water percolates into things. I sort of... I know how that happens, so let's just go with... Is it safe? I guess so. Looks like they finally drained it. Or maybe it just drained off on its own. Water came in pretty fast, and a lot of folks got trapped in the tunnels. I only heard parts of how it went from there. Sanitized for the bereaved. You know how big these big companies are. But there was gossip, too. The trapped miners couldn't get to the pumps couldn't get the pumps going because the power was rationed, so they shut all the lights off, but even then it wasn't enough. So I guess it was dark when they... Are you okay? You lost some people down here, didn't you? Let's not pry. Yeah, I'm fine. Doesn't matter now. Look, this old turntable is still wired up. The controls are dead, but I can use my signal generator to switch to tracks. If the water hasn't damaged it too much, or we can just keep heading down this tunnel. All this junk hanging up around the turntable from the company store. Just junk, you know. The miners would buy it and use it to decorate the place. Or as landmarks, I guess. Hard to know which way is which down here. It's all so dim and gray. Shannon connects two clip leads from her signal generator to the turntable's electrical panel. We're on the track between the animal bones and the rowboat, so... Ooh, that's creepy. Very creepy. Bat feeder in the scarecrow and the pendulum in the casket. Mmm. Pendulum in the casket sounds really morbid. Bat feeder in the scarecrow? Mm, I like bats. Bats are pretty cool. They eat mosquitoes and scarecrows. Keep our crops from uh, getting eaten by birds. They really don't, but. Uh, I'll go with that one. That one seems friendly. Oh my god, I love this art. Yes, this makes me so happy. Well, let's see what's this way. I guess. Like I said, a little bit explorationist today. I didn't want to just get to the exit and then be like, ooh, going down. Um, that wouldn't be broken track. With the icon of two people. Hello, two people. The tracks are all messed up here. This tram isn't going any further. I wonder what's down that tunnel. Um, well, guess we're not going to find out. Tra -la 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 -la. Woohoo, let's see if we can get some air. Not likely. Oh man, what was the movie? I think it was like one of the Indiana Jones movies. They had like a really crazy underground rail tunnel thing that... Was it Indiana Jones one? I'm trying to think now. If you know, feel free to leave a comment. I remember they like went around the corner and like the... I, I mean, it's funny too, because like as a kid, you don't really think about it, but then... Like, looking back, it's like the improbability of... Oh. It in. Do you hear that? Kind of a muffled rumbling. Maybe we're near the water? Maybe we're near the surface? Um... Neither? That's the road through there. Ooh, I wonder if that's the zero. Dun, dun, dun! I'm gonna say maybe we're near the surface because we haven't gone down very far. Yeah, it sounds kind of like a highway. I wonder why they stopped digging so abruptly here. Maybe they hit a pipe or something. Well, breaking the fourth wall, if you just, you know, look over to the side of the screen, there's a um, logical explanation. All right, back to the turntable. So yeah, so it, it was like this really improbably constructed railway that went over like lava pits and had these like broken sections and huge jumpy things and all kinds of crazy it's like you you look at it it's like there is no way in hell anyone would construct a railway like that it just would not happen and yet somehow it just seemed perfectly natural because you know as a kid hmm, painting in the casket i'll take that as a kid you just don't really think about that kind of thing. It's just, you know, it's in the movie, you, it's fancy action, and you just, it's like, yeah. 
Seems legit, right? All right. The pendulum in the casket. Dong, dong, dong. Now let's see what's this way. I think the zero was, or well, the highway was over this way a little bit, so maybe there's an actual opening onto the highway, and then we can go on the highway, and we'll be on the zero, and then the story will be over. That'll be cool. Going down, 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 in the burning ring of gray stuff. Wait, ooh, hello. What have we here? Stage. Lele. Put down performances. At, they got microphones. Damn, it's almost totally intact. Thought it would have been destroyed. What is this place? Destroyed by well, obviously by the water. But what is this place? It's a recording studio, basically, kind of thrown together. But dot dot dot. When this mine was active, a couple of folk music archivists spent some time here recording minor song. Really academic ivory tower types. None of the miners really talked to them much. They probably sang to them. So they stayed at the margins, observed, took notes, and then sometimes they get someone on a lunch break to sing into their microphone. I guess the power company got some kind of interest in their project and gave the archivists some coal strip tokens, coal script tokens to pay the miners with for their songs. Did you ever come down here? What do you think the archivists were after? Well, recording the music? Hmm. Which one? Which one? I mean, well, the, the answer to this question is obvious, so... Yeah, I came here with my parents once or twice. They used to play music here, even with the, ar even when those archivists weren't around. It was a nice setup, kind of rickety, kind of dangerous, I guess. But I don't know. They had good energy. It was warm sometimes. Well, there we go. Now we see what's the other way. I'm really glad I came down here. It doesn't seem to be. I mean, it's obviously all dead ends, but um, seems to be some nice uh, story and some beautiful, beautiful. Hang on, should the highway be like literally running right through that? It seems a little odd. Yeah, it's a nice ambiance down here. It's like a very small mine, though. Just, just saying. So, go this way, see what's here, and then we'll go back to the turntable and head to yonder exit. Do, 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 do. Now, I'm just thinking. When I went on the turntable, I didn't particularly take note of which direction I was facing. So when I get back on the turntable, am I going to be facing the same direction? I might not be, and that could be slightly annoying. Oop, not going any further that way. Tape player. Dusty reel-to-reel -reel tape player is stashed beneath the track, loaded with tape that's starved for power. Well, that's creepy. Um, oh, I didn't know those were still down here. What was that? You've been down, we, of course you've been down here before. We already asked you that. How about, what, what, what's that. Let's just get an explanation. Look, there's a tape player down there. One of those old real real setups. They'd record on that old scaffolding we saw, and I guess they'd sequester themselves down here to listen to the recorded songs. Did your parents sing? What happened to the archive? Well, how about what happens? I think she said their parents sang already, so. They got out. When the flood came, they left. Oh, good for them. So, out we go. Hopefully, eventually, this little buggy ever gets to the turntable again. I 
I'll tell you, one of the really nice things about this microphone is it actually has a cough drop in it. So, if I feel the need to like hack up a lung or belch or something, I literally just tap the little touch sensitive button and it goes completely silent. So I don't have to apologize for it. I can belch all I like and not give a fuck. So, back to animal bones and the rowboat. So, let's see. You're going all the way around. Mm, no, I don't think so. Ah, but did we? I thought the scarecrow was on that side. Gosh, it sure feels like it. I'm just trying to ask myself the question, would they mess us up like this? Well, let's go this way. Now, because the robot wouldn't have been in front of us, because that would have blocked our view. So, I think they're playing little slight temporal tricks with us, or temporal spatial tricks with us. So, I think the exit is actually still this way. We will know soon enough because we saw that one gate area with uh, the door swung open. Yeah, see this one. See what I tell you? It's it's. Um, we turned 180 degrees and uh, ended up going the same way. And look, exit. Thank God, okay. Let's go. Let's poke around down here a bit more first. Now we poked around all we need to poke around. Let's go. Yeah, okay, I just that tunnel where the tracks were broken. I'd like to take a look down there. Do whatever we need. Wait for you here. If you wait for me here, I'll just go take a little look around. Um Hmm. Do I want to go down or do I want to send her down? Tell where the tracks were broken. So that one was. Well, why don't we go da back down there? Sure, okay, I'll be right here. Wait, what? Oh, I'm her. Cool. Well, hopefully I'm not going down here to meet our doom. I sure hope those are pots and pans, or... Oh no, those are helmets. Hello, helmets. Oh dear. Hey, puppy! Okay, I'm outside. Wait, why am I outside? I thought I was going to wait there for her. Well, I can look at the shack. Let's have a look. Since there ain't nothing else to do out here, and I'm sort of just hobbling a little. The cramped shack is lined with wooden shelves. Dusty stacks of tape reels and notebooks crowd the room, but a bit of moonlight filters through a window near the ceiling. On a small desk in the middle of the room lay three notebooks. The red one is labor J. Marquez, the green one is labor R. Marquez, and the blue one is unlabeled. Hmm. Well, we wouldn't want to pry into overly personal things, so let's look at the blue notebook. The notebook is full of Greek letters and cryptic mathematical formulas. Near the back of the book is what first looks like it might have been an esoteric German shorthand. It's actually a love poem written in anagrams. Okay. Well, I, I like math, but... Um, Open the red, the green. Wait, did Marquez just join me here? I probably shouldn't be poking around in her stuff or her sister's stuff, but eh, well, I don't have an option to actually like back out, so. Pages are covered in disorganized notes, some written horizontally and others scribbled vertically in the margins. The pages align more evenly and divide up into charts correlating seasons, lyrics, harmonies, and coal halls. Conway opens the green notebook. Well, I guess I'm just going to open these. 
On each page is delicately rendered charcoal drawing. Most are portraits of rugged faces. Near the middle of the book, there are a few drawings of a young girl in a miner's helmet. She plays along the Minecraft track, collecting pieces of... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, this place. I didn't think you were coming back. These notebooks are related to Marquez. Your parents are the archivists? No, Weaver's parents are the archivists. My parents were miners. How's the leg? I can walk on it, but it's slow. I can walk on it, but it's painful. Um, I didn't look like I was in a lot of pain, so I'll just go with it slow. Well, I'll try not to get too far ahead of you. If you don't mind me hitching a ride, do you? I kind of got a lift out here. I wasn't sure if, uh, when I'd be heading back. I can drive. Well, that's very nice of you. Um, I'm really bad at navigating, so yeah, you go ahead and do that. Don't worry, I've been driving since I was nine. I still need to find the zero. I guess I should look for another route to Dogwood Drive. Um... Well, if, I mean, the, the whole point of this is finding the zero. Um, or is the whole point getting to Dogwood Drive? Now, that's a good question. Uh, I don't want to follow a path that may veer us off finding the mystery of the zero. So, I'll click on the creepy text. Well, like I told you, Weaver doesn't lie. She sent you here to find the arm wrap. This is where you should be looking. Or maybe you just weren't listening closely enough, and that's not exactly what she said. I saw Weaver at my workshop. That's up north by Lake Nolan, right at Wax and Pe Peonia, in the back of the bait shop. Pretty glamorous, right? These are times we live in. So you're either up there or back at the farmhouse. Whichever you want to head to first, just let me know. Okay. Guess we're wobb wobbling over here. Hi, Blue. Conway stands solemnly in front of Blue. Conway, how's it going, Blue? Blue, this is Shannon. Take it easy, Blue. Blue, this is Shannon. Nice to meet you, Blue. Never had a dog. Well, I don't know why you would say that. That's kind of rude. Nice to meet you, Blue. I've got some dry banana slices in my bag. Would you like one? I don't know if bananas are okay for dogs. But how are you asking? Do you help with the driving? Maybe you can help your friend here, too. Help you help with the drooling, looks like. I'll go with that. All right. How's Blue looking? An old hound in a straw hat. Both seen better days. Hmm. Looking just fine to me. Well, let's hobble along. Get back in the truck. And I think that means that uh, Miss Marquez is driving. Lysette's Antique, I guess is your truck. Surprised? This is my truck. Why would you be surprised I told her I drive for Lysette's Antique? It's kind of old. No, I'm not surprised. I guess it's an antique too. I mean, it's kind of cool truck. I think it suits you. Why, thank you. No, I guess we're just driving. Alright, so you're actually driving for me because that would... No. So, I think she said it was up north, somewhere, maybe, possibly, some bait shop somewhere. Oh wait, hang on, I bet if I click this, Shannon Marquez's workshop, up north away by the lake, right where Peony and Wax Road meet, it's a big bait and tackle shop and she fixes TV. Okay, so up north a ways, by the lake. Is there a lake around here? Well, it's sort of a rivery thing over there. Alright. Peonia and Wax Road. Alright. Back to game. Okay. I'm glad that exists. Bacon Creek Road. Uh, what's this one? Oop. Oh, I guess I can't go up there. Uh, Hammondsville Road. Uh, Frenchman Knob Road. That's a bit rude. Uh, let me see. Priceville Road. Uh, Priceville Road. I guess that could be considered a lake. Grayson Springs Road. What's this one? Wax Road! Hey, there we go. Oh, it's Wax Road there. Uh, down here? Bait Shop! There we go! Come on, Shannon, pull into the bait shop parking lot. Vault above the road in a thin steel bar, a handwritten sign reads, Live bait, minnows, small and large for stripers, night crawlers, chips and beer. A green flyer hangs loosely from a bit of masking tape at eye level. Shops, the shop's right, a dirt parking lot sprawls unevenly into the grass and then eventually trees. If 
Well, let's try to avoid the trees. The bait shop is closed. Enter the side door to Shan's workshop or driveway. Well, yeah, let's go in. The walls are live with cheap metal shells loaded precarious with vacuum tubes, awkwardly shaped metal castings, casings, and coffee cans full of electronic components. Oh, that brings back memories. I used to do a lot of electronics, and yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Shannon leads Conway to the back of the room, where a few TV sets and various states of disassembly are set up on a rough wooden table. She flips the switch on the power strip they're all plugged into, and the TV sets tremble to life. Hmm. So, watch the TV sets, ask Shannon about Weaver. Um... Watch a bit of TV. Ghostly white wobble flickers along the screen in a rhythmic pattern. Another just to show, just know. A third small security monitor in the middle of the table is oscillating between different shades of black. Well, that wasn't useful. Shannon points to a small security monitor on the table. The image on the screen is just black, but it seems to be fading slowly, almost imperceptibly between different shades of black. Shannon tweaks a few knobs on the side of the monitor. The picture doesn't change. This is creepy. The screen is a cavernous black. It hums and swells at the pace of the tide. Conway loses track of the workshop walls. They could be inches away or miles. He's adrift on the black water, traveling swiftly towards a rocky shore. There should be a lighthouse or a buoy by these rocks. It's too dangerous. I'm not sure I should be staring at this. Shannon switches off the power strip. Weaver is not there. Not here. Guess it's back to the farmhouse. Um, oops, that's not what I meant to click. Uh, the farm. Uh, you know, the tree that's always on fire. Right. So I think it was down over here somewhere. Or it might have been a little further south. I don't recall. No, no, that was the factory. I didn't go by the factory. So, yeah, here it is, down here. Oop, not there. Up there. There we go. There's a tree that's always on fire. Well, I guess we're going to the farmhouse. And that'll probably start the next scene. And that'll start the next video next time. After you leave a like, comment, fave, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So, that's a little different than normal. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.